Today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to can something using commercial bottles. I thought that I would put the bottles to the test by first making some apple juice, bottling it, see how well it seals, and then use that apple juice to make some cinnamon apple pancake syrup. First I sliced up the apples using that slice it gadget. Works pretty good. And then I took the sliced apples and I chopped them in my chop wizard. Then I put the chopped apples in a bowl of water with some fruit fresh mixed in it. I put the apples in my steam juicer. If you don't have one of these, there's um, instructions for making apple juice in the Ball Blue book. With this juicer, all you have to do is put the apples in the top pot, some water in the bottom pot, and the steam will cook the apples and the juice will fall into the middle pot and you can get it out by that tube. I boiled my bottles for 10 minutes and then drained the water out of them. Be careful not to drain them onto your hand. That really smarts. Then I filled the bottle with apple juice. And be careful not to hold your hand over that bottle because that steam really smarts too. <laughs> this is the way you should do it. I filled the bottle leaving a quarter inch headspace. Then I put a lid on it that I'd heated and I tightened it firmly. I did see directions on the internet that said to put these um, lids on tight. Then I placed the bottle in my water bath canner and continued to fill the other bottles. I found that the bottles don't do well on the wire rack for the water bath canner. Um, they, they wobble and fall over too easily. So I used the rack from my pressure canner instead. One thing that I didn't anticipate when I bought these bottles is their height. And they are a little taller than a quart jar. So I'm going to have to buy myself a taller pot because I'm not comfortable with um, the, the amount of water that I have over these bottles. But it worked. But I'm definitely going to get a taller pot. I processed the apple juice for 10 minutes and I forgot to say I used 5 pounds of apples. After the bottles had boiled for 10 minutes, I removed the lid, um, turned off the heat and let it sit for another 5 minutes before I removed the bottles from the pot, placed them on a towel on the counter to cool. I got 3 full bottles of apple juice out of these apples and then I had enough for a little more than half a bottle. That bottle I didn't water bath at all. I wanted to see if it would seal with um, just the, putting the lid on and let it sit on the counter because that's the way they tell you to do it for um, juices. They say that you don't have to water bath juice. You can just take it directly from that steam juicer, put it in a bottle, put a cap on it, and you're done. As for me, I feel better water bathing it. But that bottle, even though it was only half full, it sealed. Since these bottle lids don't have one of those um, pop-up buttons so that you can tell if it's sealed or not, a few minutes after I took the bottles out of the canner, it occurred to me that um, since it would be difficult to see with your eye, if I could lay a knife across the top and see if it, the lid was flush and then hopefully it would become concave as it um, as a vacuum was formed then I would be able to tell whether it sealed or not so I laid a knife across the top of the bottles of course something went wrong with the video where they had completely cooled and I'm showing that there's light shining beneath the knife on all of them they, they all did become concave and um, 
you'll see in this next clip where I'm opening the bottles and you can hear the little whoosh sound. Also, notice how the headspace increased once the juice had cooled. To make the syrup, I roughly followed the recipe in the Ball Blue book for apple cinnamon syrup. I know from past experience with their syrup recipes, they end up very watery. And since I have a product called Clear Gel, I decided to um, change up the recipe a little bit to use the clear gel to thicken the syrup with. I simmered the apple juice and three sticks of cinnamon for five minutes. I set the juice aside to cool, then I mixed together three cups of sugar instead of the five cups that the recipe calls for, half a cup of clear gel, four cups of water, three cups of corn syrup, and a quarter cup of lemon juice. Then I added the apple juice and heated the syrup, stirring constantly until it came to a boil. At that point, I thought it needed a little more clear gel, so I mixed together three tablespoons of clear gel with a little water, and I added that to the pot. When it reached a consistency of a syrup, I started bottling it, and I did it the same way I did with the apple juice. I left the quarter inch head space and I set the bottles aside on a towel until I had them all full because I found that um, a long exposure to a less than boiling temperature with clear gel ends up with a very runny texture. Then I put them in the water bath canner and processed them for 10 minutes. When the processing was complete, I turned off the heat, removed the lid, let it sit for five minutes, and then I removed the bottles, put them on the counter on a towel to cool. This time I checked the lids with my knife method immediately after they came out of the pot, and I found that the lids are actually bowed upwards when they first come out of the pot, and they, then they do cool and become concave. I ended up with eight 12 ounce bottles of syrup. Here's what the syrup looked like after it was cool. At this point, the bottles are still a little warm, but as you can see, um, when I put the knife across the top, you can see light between the knife and the top of the bottle. So they have become, become concave, and the um, bottling was a success. So there you go. Hope it helps.